Howdy everyone and welcome to another Creative Edge video blog with me, Andrew Dobell. And today we're going to, to go through my uh, most recent uh, composite, which is the Silk Spectre with Riddle. So, um, without any further ado, let's jump across to Photoshop and have a look. So here we are in Photoshop and this is the final image. Um, and... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this one. So uh, this is how it ended up looking. But let's go right back to um, how it started out. So this was the base image. And um, you can see it was a very simple um, con photo taken literally two foot from her um, con table. And... Um, I just uh, just set up um, the one flash off to the right here um, to light her and give a bit of directionality to the light and um, got her work through some poses and um, I picked this one out as um, I had an idea what I wanted to do now what I wanted to do was to um, put in um, put her into the kind of environment of of the lab with um, Dr. Manhattan. But that required me to find um, a, 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 a stock photo of a muscular male uh, model to play the part of Dr. Manhattan, which was, to say the least, difficult. Um, it took a lot of hunting round through the various stock sites, um, including um, DeviantArt and Shutterstock, until I eventually found um, something that was close to what I was after, which was this. Um, I will just uh, disable the layer mask so you can see the original image. So this is what I... Um, had to work with and so I cut him out cut Riddle out and placed them roughly where I wanted them to be um, the next stage was to do a little bit of manipulation so I'm going to jump up here first off turn on Riddle here now she's been retouched a little bit here, um, just a bit on the face, um, to uh, you know, just just help things along a little bit. And then I'm going to turn on Dr. Manhattan. Now you can see I've made some changes already, which um, I have kind of baked into the image, which you shouldn't do. Um, you should try to work non-destructively the whole time. However, sometimes especially when you're working on your own personal projects, it's not necessarily essential if you know you're never going to go back and change it. So what did I do? Um, so first off, um, I wanted, I mean in the comics he's always he's nearly always naked, so I just took away his shorts um, in a couple of places just to make, make it look like he is in the buff. Um, I also, you may notice, made him bold, which he obviously is in the um, in the comics and the film. Um, so I had to find a stock bald um, guy's head to match and composited that in. So um, that's what I started off with. I also, you may notice... Um, moved his legs feet in a bit you can see here um, using the puppet warp tool um, I moved his feet in um, so that they so he didn't look quite so ridiculous <laughs> basically um, there was no need for his feet to be that far apart um, so that's why I did that so let's have a look through these layers then um, I started off with a background here. Uh, I'm just going to go up and turn off these two layers so you can actually see a bit better. Um, you can see here that this is a composite of a, a couple of different images. Again, I've um, flattened them down um, 
uh, but uh, you know it, it why not <laughs> um, so um, I wanted something kind of to look like a kind of scientific lab that you know Dr. Manhattan would work in so uh, found relevant stock images to do that um, a stock image of some computer banks which I really liked which have that kind of 1960s 70s feel um, so here's the floor now the floor is made up of several different uh, layers so uh, don't excuse me I have a bit of a cold but I will struggle on um, so it's made up of a few different layers mixed together like so um, to create a kind of suitable kind of texture for the floor uh, which have been grouped so that I can add a layer mask on top to just bring this pipe back in over here. Um, there's some shading going on there, um, which includes some stuff down here. These bits down here, these are for um, the model's feet. So if I put him Dr. Manhattan in, you can see that was uh, just bringing in his feet there and Riddle's feet there. Um, next, a layers adjustment just to darken it down, a hue saturation to take some of the colour out. Uh, and next was this machine in the background. So let me take these two off again so you can see this. Um, it's a jet engine, I believe. Um, again, I grouped them and um, it's made up of two different parts, that part up there and that part there and then a hue saturation um, just to bring it together a little bit. Um, also uh, another hue saturation to add it, to turn it slightly blue and then some shading just to push it back a little bit. We don't want it to dominate the image too much. So jumping back up, here we go to Dr. Manhattan and there's a few things that are affecting him here. Uh, I've put an outer glow on him because he does glow and a another glow which affects more of the kind of surrounding area. This one uh, is on the colour dodge um, blending mode to give this kind of um, effect and then another one which is on the overlay mode. This is just painting kind of blue um, uh, just, just a blue colour kind of you know sampled from the body here just um, you know painting it around and you know an overlay and on the colour dodge it gives a slight different effect each time um, this one here is an inner glow um, just which helps just soften the edges down a little bit uh, and then uh, there's a little bit of shading going on on these ones and um, brighten his eye up just up there. Um, I also added in because I was looking at reference from the film um, and so I he has a kind of uh, kind of in, a glowing from the inside and it's really difficult to kind of make that you know work on a flat image like this so um, to try and emulate how it looks uh, on the film I added this kind of clouds filter um, on a soft light uh, blending mode to kind of give him a kind of you know a slightly off feel so it doesn't look totally like human skin um, and then there's a few kind of um, shading there for the vignetting and um, a hue saturation there again, again just kind of desaturating it a little bit um, and then I added in, um, well, let's go back a little bit, let's just add in Silk Spectre again there. So I want to separate her from Dr. Manhattan a little bit, so I added in a slight white glow. And then I also wanted uh, to have um, 
to add in some of the kind of the uh, Doctor Manhattan is the only the only character with kind of superpowers in, in the Watchmen. One of those being the fact that he teleports, and um, in the film, um, you know, there's kind of glittering and glowing um, stars and things, pyrotechnics that happen when he does that. So I added a little bit of um, that in to um, you know give that kind of effect. Hue saturation, just bringing down um, the saturation on um, Silk Spectre's costume there. So next is um, just adding some blue because um, the glow would wrap around um, the body of Silk Spectre here. So there's a couple of uh, layers of that, um, one on overlay, one on color dodge. Uh, and then uh, another one uh, which is uh, doesn't have a blending mode but again just bringing in that kind of blue glow um, and then some shading uh, add a bit of definition and highlights to um, Silk Spectre there some more stars because they would wrap around her as well um, this is the smoke um, from her uh, cigarette. Um, interesting little fact here is that in the comic she smokes, but in the film she doesn't. They took that out, that little detail. Um, and then a bit more stars again, just kind of really ramping up that kind of magical look. And then um, this last one um, is a kind of gritty um, layer. You can't see it very well there. Um, but basically if I put that on normal there you go it, it's a kind of H, it's the, using the HDR filter um, which I believe you can find let me just adjust uh, yeah it's in if you go to image adjustments uh, you can't quite see it, it's just off the screen there uh, but it's HDR toning on CC so let's jump back a little bit uh, and that's it. That's the final image, um, just there. So, um, and I, I enjoyed doing this. Um, lots of fun, and um, yeah, I'm really happy with the finished image there. I may well do another one with Silk Spectre. I'm not sure, um, but I have got more of Riddle to come definitely, as I did a shoot with another costume um, with her, the Evil Mary Marvel costume that she has and i'll look forward to working on those in the meantime remember you can uh, support my work on patreon um so please do that and uh, you can also um help me out by subscribing um to this channel and um you know telling your friends and asking them to subscribe as well uh, and that would help me out massively so thank you very much hope this was um of interest to you more tutorials and things to come in the near future. Uh, and uh, yeah, see you soon.